Alright, welcome back to a new video. So, for today's video, as you can tell by the title, thumbnail, and description, we will be doing it over on my Revlon from the 2019 Thunder Hollow series. So, this is part of a. So, she is brand new to Case J. She's the first car I'm moving from Case J. So, the other new ones in the case that I have that. Actually, let me know how I should be. If you know, we'll say that for the end of the video. But the other new cars are. Motor Turner, from also from, from the Hollow series. Jenny Toland from the Cotter Pin series. Jen Ten Stan from the Cotter Pin series. Sterling with headset from the Florida 500 series. Hey David with Scott from the Docs Racing Day series. And there's also um, Duke Coulter from the Docs Racing Day series and Metallic. Metallic Shannon's books from the Scavenger Hunt series, but those two I have not found yet. But so I got this from my local Coles Supermarket store last night. After I had dinner, I went down there and I found my Revlon along with all the others from the case. But um, let's see. You might be wondering where does Mo appear in the movie? So the movie actually appears at Thunder Hollow, but where in Thunder Hollow? Well, before I feel about 10 to 15 minutes ago, I looked up on the World Cars with me, and apparently she, apparently she appears in the scene where Mr. Drippy crash, where Cruz and Mirrors crashed into Mr. Drippy, and then all the water tips out, and then lightning, and then just all before it was exposed as Lightning McQueen, and the RV screams, you go and get it with Paul Filter. Oh, so apparently Mo, Mo Revlin is in that scene, somewhere in the stands. Let's, let's take, let's get these cars out, let's get these cars out of the way and let's take a look at Mo Revlin. So, she is a minivan. Um, I'm not so tight, maybe a fictional model, I don't know, but she looks like, she looks uh, shocked or scared, mainly shocked, or because one of Light McQueen's just revealed himself, uh, Ch Chester Wolfield has just revealed himself to be, accidentally revealed himself to be Lightning McQueen. This has got the black grill, we've got these headlights, we've got the, here we've got the shocked expression. And she's kind of a I'm not sure what colour. If I had to go by a B1, it's like a rose, rose, it's like a rose gold, I guess. I'm not really sure what the colour looks like, I haven't seen it much. But I guess it, from what I can remember, it would probably, what I can remember of what rose gold looks like, it might be rose gold. It's got the grey windows with the black outlines, most of it's just rose gold. And there's actually some mud slash dirt detailing on here, which is like a mud or dirt. Do it. Detailing on here, which I really, 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 I really, really like. It looks very nice. With these silver grey rims, which are the same as um, Natalie Surden's, I believe. I'll just get Natalie Surden for one second to prove it. Okay, so while while my Revlon's rims aren't exactly the same as either China Natalie Surden's. Finally, and Natalie said it. So they are, but they all do look pretty similar. They're thicker than they're thicker than China Natalie Sands, but shorter than uh, they're thicker than China Natalie Sands rims, but sh thinner than Thailand Thailand Natalie Sands rims. And they do, and they just they don't have like a den sort of look. Like a bend sort of look. Um, but let's take a look at the yeah. I, I really like the dirt t detailing on her sides, it looks really nice. Um, we've got the handles, back, um, back lights, doors. And we've got the, no, let's do it, back window with the, with the, I really like the window t detailing on the back, it looks really nice. And we've got the bit here for the license plate, and to open up the back of the car, we've got some more dirt detailing. Let's see what the license plate says. It says J O one two O S. 
Yeah, I've put the J one to J one to OS. What the thing is writing above and below it, but that writing is way too hard to read. I don't think anyone could read it. And on the back, this reads MO3A, which means it was made in the third week of 2019. I've looked at some other cars. I've looked at some other cars from the case. For example, um, Gen 10 sedan. Quite a few of these. Quite a few of the cars from Case J. Case J were made in week six of 2019. MO6A, as you can see. And, and the A mean, M means 2019, and the A means they were made in Factory A. I'm not even sure if there is any other factories, like a Factory B or Factory C or whatever, I highly doubt it. But I highly doubt, though, I highly doubt there is a Factory B or Factory C though, but it is possible, you never know. Anyway, let's compare my rev one to min Mini from Cars 1 and 2, who's also a minivan. So, um, they aren't really too similar, but I wanted to compare them because they're both minivans and I thought it would be cool to show them, show them side by side. Of course, Minnie is a supporting character in the movies. You know, she has speaking roles in both Cars 1 and 2. She was, supposed, she was supposed to be in Cars 3, but I think she was cut out for the movie because she was available in a two. She was available in a two-pack van in Cars 3 packaging. Um, and sorry about that. I got. I got. I keep getting these really annoying notifications from Google Hangouts about stupid video calls from people or whatever and whenever it happens it stops recording every single time and it's annoying as hell but anyways yes yeah, so Minnie was most likely cut out of Cars 3 due to scheduling problems but, but she had speaking roles in Cars 1 and 2 whereas Mo Revlin was just a very minor character that's it for the video so we're gonna, let's bring in the the um Three cars from, from the Fonda Hollow stands that have been released so far, which are Mo Revlin, Mo Turner, and Todd Crash. Um, so yes, that's it for the video. So please remember to like, subscribe, comment, share it Let me know what car from Case J I should review next. So we've got Mo Turner. Jenny Toland Jen Tansadan Hey Day River Scott Sterling with headset and I know it's te technically re-release, re -release, but it's a pretty interesting car, so I thought I'll throw him in anyways. Carl Clutchin, and once I get Duke Coulter's, I'll review him instantly, but Metallic Shannon Spokes will be the last one to review, because she's very basic, boring, generic, and bland for you, so that's it for the video, so please remember to like, subscribe, comment, share, so share, let me know down in the comments below what car from Case J I should review next, out of the ones I just showed you, and I'll see you all in the next video.